What is up guys, it is Dorfism, and today we are on Beast PK. I'm going to be doing a money-making guide, or the best money-making methods in the game, and how to get started on all of them. This is going to be ranging from beginner players up to, you know, higher level and higher tier players. So hope you guys do enjoy the video, and uh, be sure to stay tuned for a little giveaway. Pimple, you are not complex. I'm sorry, I am not impressed. Back, back on my bullshit again. I'm having way too much fun. I'm in a section with 7K mosses around me. I swear I can't only touch one. So before I get started into the video, the first thing I want to mention is that I'm going to be doing a giveaway, like I just said. Uh, it's for this Illuminescence. This one you can just uh, enter the giveaway by leaving your in-game name in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, those are really the main three things you only have to do. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Remember, this is for the Illuminescence. It's a PKing weapon in the wilderness, obviously, and it's uh, I think it's one of the best second tier, I think. Um, it's uh, pretty fun. I've used it before. Now that we've gotten that out of the way and uh, we can get started on the video, I'm going to actually have to make a new account and show you guys some of the beginner ways first to uh, start making this money. And then after that, we can uh, get started into some uh, more higher tier and higher level ones. So give me a second to make a new account and I'll be right back. So the first method that you can do is obviously one of the newer ones. Would you like to start the tutorial? Yes, you're going to start the tutorial and get 25 mil starter cash. I know it's not a lot, but it's better than the 10 mil they give you when you skip it. So all you're going to do is get started on it and just kind of skim through it. It's it's good to know everything about this uh, the system. So make sure you guys continue to do the tutorial and uh, get that 25 mil. Skim through it to learn more about the game, obviously, uh, because it is a fun one. But uh, I'm just going to be skimming through it for myself because I know most about it. Just gonna go and speed click through it, and I don't know what I just did there, but we're gonna go into the standard XP mode. This is for the um, skilling. This is for skilling. Those the 50 times is for skilling. You can actually train up your skills and make money from that as well. Uh, how did you find us? You're gonna want to go to YouTube and then type in my name, Dorfism. Once you've typed in Dorfism, then go and hit continue and go over that. Once you have now received your 25 mil, the second thing you can do is go ahead and do uh, semicolon semicolon vote. And now voting gives you, once you vote, you get auth codes. And then with those, you get vote books. And with the vote books, uh, they give you one vote point, And with those one point, it's 15 minutes of two times XP and is increased drop rate by 0.5, uh, excuse me, 0.50%. Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, after these claiming these vote books, you can get a free 24-hour donor rank, which is going to be right here. Um, and basically, this lets you, allows you to yell in game. It um, it also lets you buy from the vote exchange store. And uh, donor token only costs one vote point, so it's practically free, boys. Now that once you've voted and you've gotten your authenticator, you got all your your stuff ready to go. You put in the person that you found the video, or you excuse me, you found the server from. And uh, now you're gonna go into your bank and you find something pretty pretty juicy, an abyssal whip beginner. Now the abyssal whip beginner it, it has a certain amount of charges. It's a light whip, so which means it's two times faster than the normal whip, two times faster than this whip, excuse me, and uh, it's it's quite nice to use. You're also going to get a crate for starter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It is a starter abyssal god sword, starter dragon claws, or the starter dark bow. Um, basically, this means that it's a it, it's an actual dark bow, dragon claws, or, or excuse me, or um, AGS. It just has a certain number of charges, so I think you only can use it 25 times. Now, I would recommend getting the Dragon Claws or AGS um, because they're both, you know, probably best to use. No one really uses a Dark Bow. Uh, sorry, boy. But uh, we're going to go with the, uh, excuse me, we're going to go for the uh, AGS here, the beginner AGS. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. It looks the, almost the same as a, as a normal AGS. It's just shows, it shows that you're a beginner, you're a pleb. Um, and it's going to have, I think we can examine it and check check the charges. Okay, maybe not. We, I guess we can't check the charges. But I believe it does have 25 uh, uses in it so use them wisely once you've gotten your all your gear and your light whip and you've picked your starter item starter item excuse me uh, you're gonna go to your daily challenge the daily challenge obviously you can do it once every 24 hours but I would like a daily challenge your task is to complete the rise of the sixth ten times the next thing we're gonna do is quickly go to curses turn them on so we get the where is it there it is we get our curses praise curse is pray your uh, makes sense now um, and then we're going to go to our teleports so or pvm teleports pvm teleports and we can go check out all the pvm teleports they have these are all kind of bosses more options evil chickens are pretty good money uh king black dragon beastie more options and more options 
Now, although there's a lot of bosses and, and monsters in that area, we're actually going to go to Colon Colon Shops, which I think is going to teleport us to right here. It's actually a little south of where I was. So once you've teleported into Colon Colon Shops, go over, talk to the Misk store, and we're going to buy a um, Dwarven Rat Cake. We're going to buy one of them, one GP. If you don't know what this does, guys, it will actually, if you eat it, it will reduce your hit points by, I think, one. There it is. And you can just spam it all the way down. Whoa. But don't kill yourself. That's a, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, you can spam it and bring yourself down to one hit points. And then uh, we're going to use DH on some evil uh, evil chickens. So once you get your DH set, go over to the PVMs like we've done before. Go to more options and evil chicken is what you want to do. Uh, now you're going to want to spam this a little bit. Not too fast, guys, because you don't want to... Oh, this is actually doing 10 damage to me. I didn't realize that. Because uh, you don't want to end up killing yourself. So we're going to get down to 9 hit points and put on that protection from magic. Uh, and then we are going to put on the D oh, put on the D Herox axe, make sure we're potted up and uh, kill these evil chickens just like that guys. So for our first kill, we got actually double loot, which I forgot to tell you guys this, but on weekends, it's always, always, always double X, uh, excuse me, double, uh, drop, um, once you get one, if that makes sense. So let's say, yeah. So since I got one, uh, one boot. I'm actually going to get two during the weekends, which actually happens. So I'm also going to show you guys the examine on uh, NPCs. So with 100% chance of getting coins, 2% uh, chance of getting Karashi. I actually got the 10%. I got these boots right here. Uh, now, the best thing you're going to want to get is these wings. These wings are a couple bill each, and they're actually really nice in game. Um, and then the other ones are just uh, some steadfast boots. And the Karashi is probably the next thing you're going to want to get. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the Slayer camp. Now, how to do that is it's not a teleport. Actually, it kind of is. You're going to go to your Slayer, click on it, and then teleport to training area. Um, but also, you can, as you can probably see right there, how many how many monster kills do I need to have? What do I want to click? There it is. How many monsters do I have left to kill? Um, which makes it really easy. You don't need to carry around a gem or anything. It makes it easy to see how many monsters, obviously, you have left on your Slayer task. Okay, it took me, it took me a little bit to uh, get to this, but task points three. Uh, now, with these points, I can get 5,000 experience with a couple points. Uh, 125, I can get a ring of wealth. 50, I can get an amulet of glory, and so on. Or 25, I can get one bill bag, which is, uh, which is a pretty decent, hefty amount, boys. Um, and then also, with five points, you can learn how to do certain things. Uh, learn how to kill Zora for 75. And then assignments, I believe you can also cancel tasks with these points. So they're, they're pretty vital, and they're very, very uh, useful to uh, do Slayer. Another thing I should mention is that once you hit level 99 Slayer, uh, you get something called um, Slayer Master Arrows. Now, these things are free for you guys if you're level 99 Slayer, and they're very, very powerful against armor. Now, I almost skipped over this, but the Boss Master here, Boss Master, um, you, it requires level 92 Slayer, but these by finishing these Slayer tasks, the Boss Slayer tasks, excuse me, uh, are much, much better ways to make money. Uh, rather than just the uh, the normal sla the slayer tasks, um, but we can go ahead and claim a boss task reward. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see what the rewards are first. How many tasks do I have? I would like to access access boss task point shop. Jesus. Um, and now I can get all this stuff with either money or excuse me the BT points. Um, and this stuff is pretty pretty juicy, boys. You're gonna want to check this out. The first thing on this before I go to the next thing. The first thing on this store is the point gamble. Now it's only two points, but it gives you a chance of getting any of these items on this, um, on the, in, in this shop, excuse me. So uh, you could buy this and you could end up getting, you know, a freaking Dragon Warhammer or getting Torva Elite Plate Body. Um, so it's it's a little bit of a gamble, but uh, it might be worth it to try it a couple of times. See, test your luck, see if you're, uh, see if you're lucky. Now for this, mo oh my god. Now for this next money making method, I'm going to go to Colon Colon Castle. I'm going to go and bank all my stuff because this is, in fact, in the wilderness. So I'm going to go colon, colon, castle. And there could be other players here. It is, in fact, multi. And we're going to jump right into this. Now, teleporting in this does require 82 thieving to do. Uh, but it is definitely worth it. Each chest gives you 500k per steal and skilling supplies, which you can sell at the general store. Uh, and these chests also have a rare chance of dropping the best special weapon in game, the fluorescence. I think that thing's going for, like... Tens of bills. I don't know. It's freaking ridiculous. It's it's a one hit, boys. It is a one hit or potential one hit. Um, it's ridiculous. It's very very nice. 
another thing that's really nice about this guys is you can actually teleport straight away from this area there is a teleport on the minimap that i didn't show um but you can use to teleport out but uh it makes it really easy to just if you're in a fight or anything even though it is in the wilderness you can just teleport right out the next thing i'm gonna show you guys is pvp instances instances and uh I'll basically after we can just go through the dialogue here and show you guys what they have tried of getting your drops stolen now you can go pvp without people taking or getting your drops and get your own private room wink wink uh, so basically it just means that it's a instead of having random other players coming in stealing your loot It's a it's it's just you it's a private room with just you and uh, All that loot is yours, and it's uh, it's yours to take so it's pretty nice Very very nice um, I would like to enter the evil chicken instance or I would like to enter the more or the flambent instance And then there's all this other stuff now some of this stuff does cost money Yeah, you can see hope is a hundred mil corporal beast a hundred mil and all these other ones are 100 mil. So once you get a, maybe a little bit of money from evil chickens or doing the bossing, you go to here and you try this out. Um, now, I probably would end up joining the evil chicken instance just because it's only 50 mil. And right now, because of the fact that it's double drops, uh, you'll get that 50 mil in probably like maybe 10, 15 minutes. It makes it really easy. Um, actually, you'll get it way before 10, 15 minutes, probably like 5 to 10 minutes. And uh, you don't have to worry about any other players uh, stealing your loot. Not really stealing your loot, stealing your, your, your chicken. And um, then you'll be good to go. It's only 50 mil cost to get in, and um, I don't know, it's pretty easy. The last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the um, edit show. Sh last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the loadouts and editing your loadouts and such like that. So let's say I just got this beginner AGS and I want to test it out, but I don't want to have to keep banking every time I have to die, or I have some other food. I can just put that in. And I can move my, my, my runes down here. Let's say I like it more over here. I like this over here. I like the DHX over there. And I like, you know, my pots to be like this or something. You like it your own separate way, whatever. You go to your loadout settings. I'd like to edit my loadouts. Edit loadout one and save current gear as loadout one. And then go back over to it. This is my mistake I did before. And then save current uh, inventory as loadout one. Or you could just do save as both. I'm an idiot. But uh, next time you go and um, you drop off all your stuff in the bank, all you have to do is do equipped and it throws it on you. Now, unfortunately, I guess it didn't save my um, it didn't save my inventory uh, because I kind of sped through it a little bit. But it actually does that and you guys can uh, just easily run back into the wilderness after every time you die. I want to remind you guys to don't forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, the entry, I guess, requirements are to make sure you leave your in-game name in the comments because that's the only way I can find and locate you and give you the item. Um, another would be make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like on it. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're making a new account, make sure to use my, my name, Dwarfism, when logging in um, so they know what who sent you. But besides that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time for another Beast PK video. Peace.